Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Mason. My pronouns are she and her. Um, I currently live in Rayford, North Carolina. Uh, my husband, myself, and my daughter, uh, our two cats and our dog just moved here from Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, we are military, so we went from uh, Fort Campbell um, to Fort Bragg. Um, my population of interest um, is veterans and veteran families. Uh, I have been a military spouse for almost 10 years now, so I am pretty well versed and uh, understanding of a lot of the issues that service members and their families face. Um, so I really hope to be able to support, uh, you know, other spouses like myself and um, their service members and their children um, in dealing with the unique and difficult circumstances that uh, military families face. Uh, I'm not currently in a practicum. Uh, my school schedule is kind of weird. Um, so I will not be doing my practicums until the very end, uh, which that's just kind of how things have happened between moving um, and family and just, you know, different life circumstances. Um, but that will start this coming fall. Um, thankfully, we have a VA hospital literally right down the street. So I'm hoping to be able to get on board there um, and get some supervision uh, in mental health. Um, what do I hope to gain? Um, I suppose really my biggest um, desire for this class, so one would be uh, to be able to um, specialize in mental health. Um, and then beyond that would be um, to just have a better understanding of uh, mental health practices and um, uh, psychotherapeutic techniques um, and implementing those, uh, building treatment plans, things like that. Um, my goal is, of course, when working with veterans and their families, um, I definitely do want to take the clinical route. I do intend on being an LCSW um, and then eventually, hopefully, working inside of military units um, directly with soldiers and, you know, providing support for them and their families. Um, I guess an interesting thing about me, um, something that I would like to hopefully um, put into my career as a social worker as well, um, I like the study of thanatology. I'm very passionate about um, the study of death and death practices um, and the needs of families of terminally ill and the dying. Um, I just finished up the death and grief um, class which was a really fantastic class. If you guys have the opportunity to take it, I totally recommend it. Um, it's tough, but totally worth it. Um, so I suppose that, you know, at some point I want to possibly work with the terminally ill, um, uh, work with the grieving, um, which could very well, you know, be a potential when working with military. Um, so it's, it kind of sometimes freaks people out that I'm really interested in that. Um, very adamant and supportive of um, like end of life care and end of life that just that whole process of preparing for that. Um, you know, we we don't handle the dying process very well. Um, so I think that for me personally, um, incorporating that into my career and my study kind of helps me view it in a different perspective and in some ways has gotten me more comfortable with it. Um, so, you know, I hope to be able to share that and provide necessary support um, for people when, uh, you know, we experience those things. Um, and yeah, I really look forward to working with you guys. Uh, thanks.